Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel Hatter. My name is Mariel. Today I'm gonna give you my first impressions on some of Elf's holiday kits, holiday sets, holiday bundles. I was at Target the other day and these were just hanging out by the makeup, so I had to grab a few of them. I am on a budget, so I couldn't try out more, which is unfortunate, but I got a little something so we can talk about these kits. The first thing I got was the 50 piece eyeshadow set for 10 bucks. I got the total brow set right here for five bucks and the natural lashes for two bucks. These are e.l.f. products that I haven't tried before so I'm excited to see how this goes down and in a second you're gonna see me without eyeshadow or brows on so I'll brace yourselves. Let's jump right in. Now the first thing I'm gonna try out is the e.l.f. total brow set. This comes with an eyebrow kit and an eyebrow lifter slash filler. So here we go. So here is the lifter and filler. It has a sharpener cap on one side and ooh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna swatch this. I really like this color. I was a little scared that the pencil was gonna be too red but it looks like a nice cool brown and the lifter in ivory let's see if you can see that it's a little peachier it's more pink than anything i would have never thought of doing something this peach for my eye um uh, but maybe it's gonna work we'll see and this is the medium brow kit We've got a little mirror let's get rid of this little plastic oh oh this is nice and we have a little brush that honestly is just taking up space. Like, what is this? So this is a brow powder and this is a cream. I'm tempted to use a brush just to see if this actually works. First, I'm gonna fill in with the powder and then I'm gonna define with the cream. Okay, first, first impressions. This is not bad. I mean, if you have medium dark to dark hair, this would be a great color for you. You don't have to worry about getting like super orange brown eyebrows, which I freaking hate. It's like the worst. You know, the brush isn't totally sucking, so. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. I like it. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna go in to the cream, which is this darker brown, and I'm gonna use the angle side of the brush. Um, pray for me. I don't know how thick this is gonna look once I put it on. Mm. Yeah, no, this cream side isn't really doing much. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pencil. I'm going to go in with the filler. Ah, uh, okay, this is what the cream here should have actually been. Hmm. It's a little patchy and when I say patchy I mean that when you're drawing a line it kind of goes on really thick at the beginning and then just kind of fades out. It's probably just the kind of wax that it has. Um, so I'm not obsessed but I'm impressed. I thought this was gonna be really dry or wasn't gonna work that well but it's pretty decent. Cool now I'm gonna go in with lift on my brow bone. So that went on pretty smoothly and I guess now I'll just buff it out with my finger and let's see I like this this works hmm. so for five dollars I think this is a pretty good deal um, the brow powder is great and the pencils pretty decent too all right now here we go with the 50 piece eyeshadow set it was just ten dollars um, I never buy palettes like these because to me most of these colors are trash. Not saying anything bad about e.l.f. Um, I, I would say this for any big palette. Like, the bane of my existence, and I've said this before, are these freaking colors right here. And they're in every one of these big palettes and I hate it. It's always like this icy blue and this barely noticeable minty sage green. I never wear those colors 
I never put them on people because they're just, they're unnecessary and they're in every one of like these big palettes. But that being said, um, I saw that there are a lot of shimmery golden brown colors and we got some mattes in there. So I thought that for 10 bucks, it would be a good idea to try it out. There is a larger palette with a lot more eyeshadows and that was $15. Oh, and this also has two eyeshadow brushes. I like the e.l.f. brushes, so if anything, I'm gonna be happy just having those two extra brushes. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. <sighs> <sighs> These are mostly shimmery eyeshadows. I see one brown matte. There is a matte green. Uh, there's also this matte icy blue. Uh, which would, I think these would look, I think this would look really pretty on like a really deep skin tone. So, okay, I'll give you that one. And we have this matte forest green, which I like. I mean, it might go with what I'm wearing. Um, but what is the deal with giving me like a yellowy green matte shadow and then a slightly peachier but still matte yellow shadow. <laughs> then there is this nude matte color, which is gonna work nicely with the brown and a white and a pink. Where is my deep dark chocolate brown? Okay, so yeah, sometimes I just don't know what, you know, the research and development department is thinking of when they're making these. We have a classic little sponge applicator and the two brushes. All right, here we have the smudge brush. And here's the flat eyeshadow brush. This is gonna work great for the lid and this one to kind of define and smoke up the eye. In addition to those, I'm gonna use the two e.l.f. brushes that I have, which are the Flawless Concealer Brush, which I like to use to just do a wash of color all over the eye, and the Contour Brush, which can also work more as like a pencil eyeshadow brush. Oh, and by the way, I just remembered that on my lips, I'm wearing this e.l.f. kind of jelly lip color. Uh, the color is named Dewy Berry, <laughs> but I don't know exactly what the name of the product is. I'll write it in the description box below. I like it, it gives you this nice tint. It feels nice on the lips, it's kind of hydrating. So yeah. All right, so let's get started. This is what the little palette looks like. Uh, it's a little hard to close. And the mirror? That's, that's like a mirror. So I'm gonna go in first with this nudie color, put it all over my eye. And that feels like that is barely there for my skin. Um, let's go in with this matte white. Uh, pretty much feels like I didn't put anything on there. Maybe a little bit of color. Uh, let's go into this goldeny beige right here. Oh, all right, that's better. Okay, that's a nice highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with the only matte neutral color here. Okay, it took a little work to actually have the color show up, but it's a pretty decent color. All right, I'm gonna get this bronzy color. It's like, what? And this is something that also bugs me, like these colors, they're, they're all so freaking similar. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna go with the bronzy and pink colors. Let's see, maybe here, here, and one of the ones over here. Uh, barely showing up, not very reflective. Um, let's try another one, how about this guy? Okay, this one's better. Now let's get this pink. You can barely tell this is pink. <sighs> this is dusty. I'm gonna get this darker purple pink. Okay, you can also barely tell that this color is on. They all feel so freaking similar. It just turns your eye into like one melded color. I'm gonna grab the smudge brush and go in with the green. Maybe that'll show up. Okay, this is better. You can actually see the green. It's 
pretty dusty. If you blend them out, it just looks like you have one color on. What's the point? Now I'm just gonna go in with the black to see what kind of a mess this does. Uh, I mean, this doesn't look too bad on camera, but in person it's doing nothing. Like it's nothing special. All right. So thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. I wouldn't get this even for a beginner. This is just really frustrating to work with. All of the colors just feel the same and it just looks muddy on. I think it's just kind of a waste, which is really sad. Last but not least, I got these $2 natural lashes. Um, I've never tried e.l.f. lashes before, so this is gonna be interesting. And these come with eyelash glue. So I'm gonna use that. These are very thin. They don't feel papery, which is good. I hate lashes that feel papery. This eyelash glue... What? The bottle is almost half empty. Whatever comes out, just... It's very sticky. Will this hold? It's hard to even put on the lash. I know it's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna have to put on some of my lash glue. Oh, that's so frustrating! Ah! All right, that's it. No, it's it's a no from me. Not not even gonna keep trying. All right, I'm gonna put on some mascara. Give you my final thoughts. I'll be right back. I'm just looking at my eyes, and it looks like I have the same color on. It's really weird. Um, how unfortunate. I mean, this was kind of honestly a waste of $10. Elf has a eyeshadow trio. I don't have it here with me, as a matter of fact. I think I have it in my car. Um, but it's a little trio with a sparkly champagne color, a metallic white color, and like a bronzy brown. I would rather you spend your money on that eyeshadow and do a look with that. That'll look way more holiday and pretty than anything you can create with this. The lashes, just trash, don't even. And the brow products, sure, this I don't feel like it was a complete waste of money. This pencil is gonna come in handy. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it in my purse and use it as my emergency brow product. And I'll definitely use this powder, um, but not this cream. So I'm pretty bummed. I was hoping these products would work at least decently. Elf is great. They have so many wonderful products. Like right now, I am wearing the blush palette. This is the dark blush palette and I'm wearing the contour palette and these are fantastic. So take your 12 bucks from the palette and the false lashes and get these. Just, just get these instead. <laughs> All right, those are my thoughts on these elf gift sets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you in the next video and until then, bye!